What's up, people? I throw Blade Master here for more Skyrim. Okay. My sister. Yes. Now I am going to be getting all. I'm, I'm going to be getting the achievements and stuff. So like I'm. I might show you. I might show you guys what those are, and like what I did to get them later. But yeah, this is on a new. This is on like my account where I haven't played Skyrim at all yet. Hence, only new game was an option. This is like my Let's Play account, so it's not attached to. So it doesn't actually. Doesn't actually have gold. So I'm not connected to Xbox Live or anything with this account. Pick some flowers. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. I think it's red. I think I want to get. I think I want to make sure I get. Not stuck in a rock. I think I want to make sure I get a lot of red mountain flowers because I think you can use. I think it's red. I'd have to. Oh no, it's restore magic. For a second there, I was thinking, ah, oh, it's blue. I want to get a lot of, because those like will make health potions. Yeah, like lately on my per on my personal files, I've been playing a mage a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like to the point where I'm actually a good chunk of the way through the story quests, and they have a handful of side quests done. But yeah, that's why I was thinking I wanted to get a bunch of red ones because I need to, because I consume a lot of magic potions in, on my mage. <laughs> We're going to be going there at some, like, some point soon. In the next couple videos. I guess you get used to it. Okay, I will sh like, you know, I don't know if I'm actually going to do, like, the whole intro, outro when doing a chunk of recordings I might just um I might just like add it in in text or something like that anyway real awful just these tell the us what these are stones. three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape Go ahead. See for yourself. okay so basically in the older Elder Scrolls games, each character, like when you, like when you were making your character, you choose what sign you were born under, which is like a set of stars. They'll give you like a set. They'll give you like a certain. They'll give you like little buffs and will like give you certain abilities. This is what replaces being born under signs. Like there's 13 stones. Each one has a different effect. The thief stone makes thief skills and stealth skills level up 20% faster. That's not going to be me. The Mage Stone makes magic skills level up 20% faster, which, once again, not me. But we're what we're going to be doing is the Warrior Stone, which makes warrior skills, so like, so like combat skills, like um, the armor skills, weapon skills, stuff like that. It'll make those level up faster. And there's a different little quip for each one. Like, uh, the Mage, he says, well, to each his own. And the Thief, he says, well, it's, you know, it's never too late to change your path. Uh, funny little, like funny little thing. Um, I know a lot. Like I know a lot of people will you like make will pick a certain race to give their characters like certain buffs. Like for example, they'll like a lot of people when they make thieves and assassins, they'll make, choose Khajiit characters because they have a natural bonus to stealth. But I ain't about that. Like, like I don't like. Sure, it's a bonus, but I don't. I don't like to have like the race determine the class, which, so like um, my mage character is actually a like my mage characters are normally Khajiit, of all things, and my stealth characters are normally Argonians, which are the, which are like the lizard guys and the Khajiit are like cat people. In case you, in case you guys didn't like didn't like see the first video in the sped up part. Uh, where I was like deciding what race I was going to choose. Like I just chose, like even though I'm just, uh, excuse me. Even though um I believe Nords get like bonuses in a lot of combat skills. Like I just and I I knew this character was going to be like more like weapon based rather than like magic or stealth based. Like um I just chose Nord because I haven't played a Nord in a while. Lately, all my characters have been the beast races, as some people refer to them as. Listen, I apologize in advance, but I 
basically loot everything. <laughs> I loot as much as I can. It's like I know it, I know it'll get annoying to some people, but like. Yeah, that's one thing I kind of don't like about this game. Like, that sometimes like the dialogue will just kind of blend together, so it really, makes it really difficult for you to tell what what the characters are actually freaking saying. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this like uh, this guy. Um, he, this guy could actually be a follower. I might take I might take him because I don't think I've ever really had an archer follower. But, is it safe for you but that, but that won't be for now. But that won't be now. That'll be later. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? Okay, now, I will try to let you guys listen to all the dialogue, like at least the important yet, dialogue. But a friend. I owe her my life. <coughs> Excuse me. Somewhere we can talk I say that as I'm talking over them. From Helden, but um. Yeah, I will try to make it so um you guys can listen to these guys like gab on about stuff because some people like that, other people like to just go like go through as fast as they can through the dialogue. They'll like skip through it all and I sometimes do that, but I try not. I've been trying not to lately because I actually really like the story like in games like this. Plus, games like this are actually about making your own stories and Uncle stuff Ray, like that. Can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric's Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. <laughs> Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. <laughs> now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Okay. Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then. Out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. That's uh, something that kind of happens every once in a while. For some reason, um, and I was when I'm there. playing this game, suddenly this time my character will just south, walk left for a bit. Not for that dragon. It's weird. Confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today. As far as I know. Maybe because at some point Good. I kind of rubber band, we can lay my, I kind of rubber banded my controller, put your family in danger and either, like but. let it just go for a minute to Nonsense. get some easy um stealth levels in a in a specific cave in this game. I'll point and it out if we ever get there. Is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. <clears throat> if there is anything else you need, just let me know. Okay, so we got a place to stay, which I will. Which I think I've only actually went into once. I'll just take everything she has, even the there stuff is I won't something use. You could do for, me, for all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. <coughs> Sorry if I clear my throat a lot. Like, my allergies are kind of acting up. It always happens when the seasons change. Anyway. Okay. Little bit of backstory. Like, that whole thing, like, Imperials versus Stormcloaks, is because... Like, the guy who was muffled in the cart in the first episode, Ulfric Stormcloak, 
he he was one of the Jarls, one of like the leaders in Skyrim, because like um the way the hierarchy works is that I think it goes like like the Empire, the High King of Skyrim, the Jarls, and like then like nobles and stuff like that. Huh. I don't think I've ever actually heard those birds. But, like um, but yeah, like Ulfric Stormcloak, one of the Jarls, went up to the High King of Skyrim. And used one of the powers in this game that we will actually be getting later to basically kill the High King. So the Empire stepped in to take, to like, to like, uh, kind of like, take control and calm things down. But, but it's basically just blown up into a huge ass civil war. There should be a there should be a wolf up here. I've played through the beginning few quests of this game so many times. Oh, there you are. Ha <laughs> ha! Kill camp. Feels a bit. <laughs> like, I'll be, I'll be doing that a lot. I, like, whenever I do, like, a one-hand spell sword, I always heal all, I'm always, like, healing all the time. Which helps out with my leveling, actually. Um... What was I gonna say? Well, yeah, that's that's kind of the story. Like our character wasn't really involved in any of it. In fact, our character wasn't even in Skyrim. Like when we were in the car, we like we basically were crossing the border illegally and literally walked into a to like a ambush that the <clears throat> that the Empire that the Imperials had for the Stormcloaks. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> For some reason, my throat's starting to feel a bit weird. I hope I'm not getting sick. Come on. Get over here. There we go. I'm seeing steel stuff already. Nice. I think it's because the first the first perk I put in was to um smithing to make so I can get so I can actually get steel stuff. Ooh! That clipping, yo! <laughs> Yeah, some of the kill cams are freaking brutal. Oh, I I call them kill cams. There's some people who call them who call it violins, which is pretty cool, and like other things. But I just I just call them kill cams. Another kill of the freaking impaling his head. Any he, any he me, That was all I got as I was impaling his head. <laughs> Neat. <clears throat> Still in there. Uh, I I hate it when I have to, when I'm clearing my throat the entire video. I swear, like before I hit the record button, I could be talking to someone on like Skype or something for hours and hours n with no issue. Then all of a s then all of a sudden, as soon as I hit the record button, I have to clear my throat every two and a half freaking seconds. You know, if you're paying attention down there, you would have seen that there was a split in the road. I went this way because right up here is Bleak Falls Barrow, which um, Rayloff was kind enough to point out to us. <clears throat> We're going to be dealing with that later. I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. I'm, I'll try to filter it out in editing. That or I'll just <laughs> that or I'll just put a counter at the end of every video of how many times I've cleared my throat that video. But yeah, I'll try to filter it out. That or I'll completely forget until I'm actually the until I actually have like the first video and a half rendered. <laughs> I'm like, oh right, I was supposed to, I was like, oh right, I keep I was supposed to be doing that. 
I don't know why he suddenly got a very, the slightest hint of an accent, but... Yeah. I wish I had a pickaxe, so I can get this iron, and this iron. Uh, I'm not exactly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually be doing the, um... Home building? Like, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna, like... Like, at some point I might buy and make a house, but... Oh, hello there, giant. Stay away from the giants, by the way. Like, especially if you're at a low level or don't have that much health, because they'll just send you to the freaking moon. Skeever! I'll take her tail. Uh, hey, right here's a patch of silver ore. Yeah, sometimes there's a dude over here mining it, but he doesn't seem to be here this time. Uh, instead of a group of bandits disguised in, as Imperials. You there, uh, you're interfering with Imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. <laughs> Look at that guy in the bag, he looks shifty as hell. <laughs> fine. If you can't pay with coin, you'll pay with your life. Now I can yeah, it says these are soldiers, but if you notice, there are a bunch of naked, like, naked bodies around here, so... That should be a hint that, hey, these guys... What?! Uh, what?! Looks get like out of my face. Skulking around. What?! Okay, I call BS on that. Okay, how far back is it gonna put me? Come on, loading screen. Hurry up. Come on. I know this is a big game. You... Oh, really? Oh, my... Ugh. I'll see you. I'll s I'm just gonna call this crap out. I'll see you guys in a bit. Get over here so I can kill you. That was very kind of you, wolves. Just stood there so you cause I can kill you. <laughs> I you gotta love it sometimes when the AI glitches out. New to Riverwood? If you're looking uh, for work, go see Hod at the Mill. Rayloff said you could help Rayloff? me out. How do you know him? He's a friend. He promised you could help. You really are Rayloff's friend. I'll be glad to help you. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? A dragon attacked Hel Helgen and destroyed it. Rayloff and I escaped together. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier, flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. It was a dragon. Rayloff will tell you the same thing. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Valgrup in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, now I think you can just I'm talk to her to again and anyway, ask for like supplies. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. And you just have all the same stuff. You need within these. Okay, right. that's just something you could do if you wanna just skip through that whole thing where like just skip all of Rayloff's dialogue or the other guy if you chose the Imperial if you chose the um, Imperial because it, it does the same thing you can do the same thing with him too except for you just talk to a different person okay I think I actually remembered what I was trying to talk about earlier but before I got sidetracked now, about the whole Civil War thing as you can imagine like like uh, the different holes which are which the holes are the areas where the Jarl's control that the Jarl's rule the Jarl's rule over. 
I'm having a, I'm starting to have a bit of issues a bit of issues talking. <sighs> Case in point. <laughs> anyway, some areas are are some areas are sided with the storm cloaks, others are sided with the imperials. Some others are just neutral. The hold I'm in, the white run hold, which which is which is why I have to go talk to the to um Jarl Jarl Balgarif, I think that's how you pronounce his name. The like I'm in his hold and he is neutral. In fact, I like I haven't done any of the civil war quests, like the civil war quest line where you join a, the stormcloaks or the imperials. But if I remember correctly, like um I had like I have this huge ass book that's the that's the um strategy guide for the Skyrim that came with the legendary edition, which my friend gave me because like I do have the legendary edition but someone but one of my friends gifted it, gifted it to me on Steam and another friend who who had a who bought the physical copy also bought the digital copy because he buys the physical copies to get the pre-order bonuses then he'll just give it to a give the physical copy away and just buy a new digital copy at full price I like I've been trying to get him not to do that <laughs> but, like yeah Anyway, like he didn't like he's like didn't really want the book, so he just said sure. So he said like he asked me if I if I wanted. I was like sure, I'll take it. I mean sure I could just look up a walkthrough online, but I like I like strategy guides. That though I don't actually really own any. Oh, hello there. You came down. You came down to meet me. I'll carve you into pieces! Arrgh. You know, that actually kind of reminds me, um... Sometimes, like, depending on your race, like, what the bandits and stuff, what the bandits and stuff say to you when they're fighting you can actually be kind of racist. Like, um, I... Like, I've only noticed this with the Khajiit characters, though. Ooh, uh, Enchanted Helm. We can do enchanting stuff with that. I'll explain that later. Like, um, I remember playing as a Khajiit. Like, half the time, like, whoever I'm fighting, be them bandits, were like, uh, vampires, guards, well, like, half the time they'll say, say, you'll make a fine rug, cat. <laughs> can that be kind of racist? I don't know. Anyway, that's just that's just a whole can of worms I kind of don't want to open right now. So, even though I already brought it up. Okay, so anyway, since we're like since we're essentially like almost where we were, I'll just hope I don't run into those guys again. Cause yeah, like it's actually randomly generated. Like I think the encounters are. Like, like the encounters, like, like, uh, like, you can run into those guys, you could just run into an old orc who just wants to find a good death. You could run into a random Argonian Khajiit or orc, I believe, though I think they could also be elves, too, who will actually, who will literally sell you drugs. You can find Imperial patrols who are taking a guy, who are taking a Stormcloak prisoner somewhere. You can find Stormcloak patrols who are taking an Imperial prisoner somewhere. You can find um, Thalmor patrols who do who basically just fuck everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can you can find a lot of stuff. But yeah, like that all. Yeah, like the thing is that guy did a kill move on me. I keep forgetting that. Like that, like a kill cam, kill move, whatever. I keep forgetting that those can happen to the player. And as you saw, they can happen when you have quite a bit of life left. And oh, hey, look, it's it's the miner dude. It's not or, like a hunter. Coaching is hurting anyone. The y'all can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Take a look. Yeah, like these guys will just like. These guys can just sell you stuff, like some extra hides and stuff. You can also sell stuff to them. But the thing is, they have very, they have like a, they have like very little gold, so it's not even worth it. Hello, wolf. 
do oh. that. Crap. I almost hit his dog. That would have been good. Then he would have then he would have attacked me. Just make sure my health is capped off. And I didn't say move, so I'm good. Just didn't go away right away. Okay, now we're basically where we are in that like that like t walled city like way over there. That's White Run. That's where we're going. We gotta go talk to the Yarl! Yay! Let's see if I can kill this deer. Mm, no, I'm not fast enough. Probably because I'm wearing heavy armor. If I was wearing light armor, I might be able to catch up to him. Or if I used magic or archery, which I did pick up a bow. But as I said, I'm mainly going to be using that for dragons. Because, spoiler alert, the dragons are very important to this game and you do fight them. Okay, I think I'm actually going to... I think for this let's play, I'm mainly going to, f like at, at least at first, I'm going to plow through the first several story quests, at least till I get, at least till I max out the first shout that you get. Then I'll probably just start, then I'll probably do a few side quests, like faff around a bit. Then I'll... Well, actually, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a few dungeons and try to get 5,000 gold. That way I can buy a house. That way I can actually have a place to store all my crap so I'm not constantly over-encumbered. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. This is official business. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay, now, see how it says persuade, how it said persuade right there? Like, if that works... It'll give you speech levels, like speech experience. But the weird thing is, like, I I think some of them are just predetermined to work. Like that one, no matter what, always works. And there's at least one other one that, oddly enough, also involves guards, that always works. Okay, so now we're in the, in the town. Takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. This guy's a dick. I just can't fill this guy is a huge dick. She's cool. This guy's a dick. <laughs> let's let's tan those hides I got. There go. <clears throat> Though it probably would have been better to just keep them in hide form for now. But, um, but yeah, like, the inventory works on a weight system. See how it says carry weight down there? I have six, I'm carrying 630, like, not 600, 163 pounds of stuff, and I could carry a max of 300. And, like, yeah, if you get more carry weight, you move super slow. I mean, like, this, like, this slow, about. You can't run, and you can't fast travel, which is another mechanic I'll be getting into later. Yeah, that guy's kind of, that guy's kind of annoying. He yells a lot. He's basically a preacher for one of the divines, Talos. Which is the guy that, the, that a lot of the Stormcloaks worship. And... Because of a big war against against the Thalmor, which the Empire lost, like basically they had to outlaw Thal like um they had to I almost said outlaw Thalmor worship. They had to outlaw Talos worship, which means like now a bunch of uh like now a bunch of people are like like now a bunch of people have to worship secretly and. Now with the war, the, the people are being dicks and dicking over each other. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. Gargar sent me. Riverwood is in danger. House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Drag! 
Helgen! Y'all will want to speak to you personally. Wow, word travels fast. <laughs> so, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> I'll go, I'll go, I think I'll go with this option. A dra the dragon destroyed Helgen. Last I saw, it was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, I believe Yzmir was a so the trust in the he was a Nord own? hero. Against the dragon, my lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. I'm getting the hungry. Is lurking in the mountains. We'll that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. Uh, done kinda done didn't, but okay. But I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token Yay, of my Yay, studded Imperial armor that I'm not yes, going to use because it's not heavy armor. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. 